I uh, give me a break. So extraordinary, so amazing, you can't look the other way. I really do mean extraordinary. We're talking about the Jasani case. This is all. This is all from a student named Jasani Smith. What? This whole segment is gonna be dedicated, dedicated to him. And an explosive investigation. We're also gonna tell you how how to handle surviving getting caught in a rip current. So, let's begin. Let's begin by looking at this. This is from the Colorado Times. Kenya High School senior Jasani Smith missing after swimming on Pondra Island. This happened last week, so we're gonna go through this we're gonna go through the story. For some of you that haven't even hear, heard the story yet, you're gonna get excuse me, you're gonna get a chance to hear the story. About two uh, rip currents can kill estimated a hundred beachgoers in the United States. We're gonna tell you all about that later. About two dozen corpus, about two dozen corpus Christi high school seniors gathered at White Cat Beach Thursday to have a good time. Some decided to go for a swim. That's when things went wrong. Friends of King High School athlete Jasani Smith. 18 said he was swimming it far out when they got lost. Eileen Vadez, 18, said she was heading back to shore when she heard someone shout they couldn't find Smith. She said that she said I was far out from shore, but I was able to stand up in the waist high water and look into the distance. I didn't see anything but waves. Valdez then rushed to find the phone and call 911. One of Smith's fans swam out to look for Smith when the teenagers lost sight of him. The officers were called and reported the incident drowning after 3 p.m. According to the police, a 17-year-old boy, the 17-year-old boy went out the, toward the 18-year-old to noticing he was still struggling. He told police he wasn't able he wasn't able to reach him because of the current. Also, the 17-year-old looking for Smith was found near the jetties. Where officials was held, held him to shore. The teenager had minor cuts from the rocks. A treat, a treat from Annie Valdez, eight, who was 18, show, shows a photo of the beach where a group of seniors moments before, before the drowning happened. It said, quote, I pray that each and every one, I pray that each and every one of you that knew your son had Find find ways to keep keep the sweet memories alive. He might be gone, but he is forever in our hearts. The father said that Smith was supposed to graduate this May. And she also said that we chose to go to the beach that day instead of being in the gym at, at school all day for star testing. It was such a perfect day filled with smiles that quickly turned into a nightmare. And according to the racist county, as of 8.30, the man wasn't still found. The tweet from the Mighty Mustang Band said that a GoFundMe account has been set up for Johnny Smith's mother. He's an 18-year-old boy, senior from high, King High School. He was at the beach yesterday. And some of his friends, he was swept away by the current of the coast. So if you actually go to this website, you could actually donate and raise money. And as of right now, but in four days in a row, they've raised thirty-one over thirty-one thousand dollars to support. But as of today, thirty-one thousand dollars has been supported and if you have time in your day we're going to put the link in the description below so that you can donate i mean you don't have to do this right now you can do it during the show but if you have time i want you to go to gofundme.com we'll put the link in the description we'll put the link in the description below And this was from a day ago. I'm going to keep following this story, but...
when I'm but when I uh, what I'm gonna plan to do is if I uh, if I have time in my day, I'll talk to the uh, the fa the family member and the and her and his and his friends that maybe they'll talk to me, give me some more updates. Maybe they won't. But yesterday, Channel Three was there doing a a little thing. I couldn't even talk about it. But that's for another story. We'll give you more updates as it goes along. But the coverage is not over. When when we come back, we're gonna tell you how you can handle a rip current. So again, when we come back, we're gonna tell you how you can handle being caught in a rip current. And then later, updates on vandalism. So after you get to donate and come back to me, because we got we're gonna tell you some tips about how to handle getting caught in a rip current. The same way some tips that got Jasani Smith involved in that rip current incident. Stay with us. So before the break, we talked about we talked about a high school, a king high school student named Jasani Smith, who was missing, who was missing from drowning in us at Padre Island. And before the break, we talked to you about we we're going to talk to you about tips that how you can survive. So here are three ways to survive. This is method one. Here's tip number one. Remain calm. If you get caught in a rip current, don't panic. You have a better shot of getting out of the situation. If you stay calm, keeping your cool, keeping your cool can help you conserve energy and think clearly. Two, if you're not a strong swimmer, call for help. Escape involves floating within the current. Then swim in parallel to the shore across the uh, the current's edge. If you can't swim, call for help. Wave your arms to get the attention of a lifeguard or other people at the beach. If you don't know how to swim, you should be able to escape and swim back to shore at an angle from the current. If you have any doubt about your ability to break free of the current, call and wait for help. Float or tread water until you can swim out of the current. Your instincts may be to fight the current and swim directly to shore. But however, the, that's the most dangerous thing you could do. Instead of instead of focus keeping your head above water until the current has weakened to swim through its boundary. Swim parallel. Most of the currents between 30 and 100 feet. Look for the nearest breaking waves. They can indicate the current's edge. And finally, swim directly to a shore after you're out of the current. If necessary, you can stop and float pretty long to rest. If you're exhausted and can't swim any further, call for help and wave your, wave your arms to call for help. That way, you can all, you can actually be safe. That way, if it happens, you can all you can. If you follow these tips, you can stay safe. You can stay safe from from the rip currents and not go way out and get hit by rocks like what Jasani did. If you follow these tips, your life and your child's can be saved. Also, before we go, one final tip. Don't try to rescue someone in a rip current. Yell at them to stay calm. Don't try to fight the current. Swim parallel to shore to get out of it. Try to find an object that floats and, if possible, throw it to the person caught in the current. If you don't have rescue equipment, such as a life jacket or a wing, wing buoy, a surfboard, a boogie board, cooler from a, or a foam noodle, it, it works as flotation devices. A stick, a, a thin stick won't even work. Like a pencil. A pencil won't even work. It has to be something strong. And how you can spot a rip current? First, try not to spot areas before going into water. Do not. Signs of rip current are set along is present. 
check the shoreline from an elevated position. Next, also look for gaps in the incoming wave patterns. And finally, spot any form of seaweed being carried out from the shore. So, that's that. Now for a look at what we have coming up for you tomorrow. Coming tomorrow, we're going to talk to you. We're going to teach parents and kids. Listen, I'm coming up tomorrow. We're going to teach you all about the game lane system, parents. This is a wake-up call for kids. You need to teach your kid. You, the child, and the parent has to be present. I'm going to wait until the child or the parent comes in. We're going to teach kids and parents all about the game lane system from E to T. From, from, from games meaning E from all the way to M. And believe me, you want to talk to your kids about this before you go out and buy their first video game. Or, or that because studies are showing that people let kids play under the age of, play a rated M game under the age of five. That's unacceptable. We're going to teach you, we're going to teach you about the game rating system. And then we're going to have, then we're going to show you some examples of games that are acceptable. And maybe parents and kids can understand that Violence in video games causes aggression and violent tendencies. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for that. So anyway, that's it for this coverage. See you tomorrow. Until next time, America.